The eruption of debris and ash was a vivid reminder that Mount St. Helens was waking up, but the worst was still to come. Scientists at the time believed that a major eruption was inevitable, but no one knew exactly when or how catastrophic it would be. These early warnings, however, set off alarms throughout the region, and government officials began preparing for what was to come. Residents living near the volcano grew anxious as they witnessed the increasing seismic activity. In some cases, buildings were damaged from the tremors, and the sky above the mountain was filled with an eerie glow from the increasing number of earthquakes. For weeks, the mountain had been signaling that it was about to burst, but what exactly would happen remained uncertain. People began to evacuate the area in large numbers, unsure if they would ever return home. The stage was set for what would become one of the deadliest and most destructive volcanic eruptions in United States history. As April arrived, the situation became even more serious. Scientists continued to monitor the volcano